This is the first of several videos that are going to walk through the program Scratch. We're going to look at some of the basics. Several years ago, I attended ISTE, the International Society of Technology Education, and Christopher um, Mashad was there, and he is an elementary school teacher who did a, se a session on using Scratch with his elementary students. Prior to that point, I will admit that Scratch completely um, blew my mind. I couldn't figure it out, and it was extremely frustrating because I was a 30-something person, and I was trying to figure out a computer program that was designed for 5 and 6 and 7 year olds. Anyway, it was extremely intimidating, and Christopher's program worked really, really well, and his instructions are still posted, so we are going to create a little video tutorial using Christopher's directions. In the first exercise, we're going to choose a sprite and make it move in four directions. And Chris's overview shows you a really nice basic piece. These are the, the tiles. They tell the sprites what you're going to do. The sprites are the characters or anything or object that you create in Scratch. The script pane, these are the directions for your sprites. They're in the center here. And this white box is the world where your activity is going to take place. Your start and your stop buttons are command center for seeing if your program's worked. And that's the quick overview of Scratch. So I'm going to go to my computer, Applications, scroll down to Scratch, open it up, and here we go. All right, so the first thing that we are going to do is we open Scratch, and we, this is the opening screen. We see the cat, everything else, here we go. So we are going to click on the Costumes tab here in the center, and we are going to click Import, and we are going to select a new sprite. I'm going to do a fantasy theme. I think it strange little purple dude would be lovely and I'm going to click OK. Now I have a sprite here. Notice he's called Sprite 1. And we double clicked on that. So now we're going to make this sprite move in different directions. Alright, looking back over here, Costume 1, I'm going to delete the cats. I'm left with Fantasy 1. He's Sprite 1. I'm going to change his name to Purple. Purple guy always change the name of your sprites. Okay, so we are going to make a set to move him to the right. So I'm going to click the control button and I am then going to find the when space key is pressed. I'm going to drag that over into my scripts. This is for sprite number one. I'm going to call, I'm going to again call him come on purple this is going to be for him. If I hit return, it should change it over here too, and it does. And you'll notice I'm writing the script here, or the program here, for whatever sprite is highlighted in this box, and at this point that's purple guy. So when the, when the sprite, or excuse me, when the space key is pressed, now we're going to change that too, since we want to move it to the right, we're going to say that when the right arrow key is pressed, now I need to go to the motion button over here on the side and I'm going to get a point in the direction of 90. This is a lot like Legos, you just click them together there. And then we're going to continue down. Then it says, let's see, we've connected them. Now we need a move 10 steps. Here we go, move 10 steps. I'm going to move 10 steps, I'm going to put that in the right piece there. Connect the two. And now, if you press the right arrow key, you'll notice that he moves 10 steps. He doesn't do anything else, but he moves 10 steps. So, we have successfully done that. Now, we're going to have him go left. So, we're going back to control. When space key is pressed, we're going to change that to the left arrow. Going back to our motion, we're going to point in 90 degrees. Move in 10 steps. We're going to change 90 to a left, negative 90. Now if you press, now he did not keep his fidelity of direction, but we'll fix that in just a little bit. Okay, now what we're going to do is we are going to um, work on that fidelity of direction. 
if you notice on this little button right up here in the middle it keeps it side to side now he will if you press the left key the right key he holds the fidelity of his direction now we're going to make our sprite move down you can see we're going to repeat the process when space key is pressed we're changing space key to down arrow go back to motion grab our 90 degrees we want to change that to down which is one it was 180 and move 10 steps now we have left right and down all right and you probably predicted what we're going to do next we're going to do control when space key is pressed change that to the up arrow when space key is pressed point in 90 degrees change that to up and make that 10 steps now our little guy is rocking he can go up he could go down you make 10 steps and what have we done we have created our sprite he moves in all four we're going to rename our sprite well I call him purple you could call him eater I suppose I could call him purple eater okay and then we're going to click save that's this little disk right here save the project and then name it eater and where am I going to put it I'm going to put it in my documents file why not I'll put it under fun I'm going to click OK and now he's saved nice job